Hello everyone, thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP NV360 laptop. I'm working on the 16AC0013 series. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your Wi-Fi card. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip your computer over to access the bottom case screws. Now in this computer, you only have four screws. You have this one here near the top left of my screen, this one near the top right, and these two below near the center. So those are the only four screws you have. After that, you're gonna take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because it'll scratch your case less than a metal one will. And we're gonna go across the seam all the way around to pry this bottom panel off of the rest of your computer. It's usually best to start up here near one of your corners. Uh, don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the outside edge. And if you get stuck going in one direction, leave it, go to the other side and continue in the other direction. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general repair side note for computers, whenever I'm working on a laptop, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your repair projects, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll have a list of many of the tools and supplies that I use in my shop. Now before I do anything inside a computer, I always remove or at least unplug the battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So I'll show you how to access your battery first. So here's your battery down bottom. I'll explain how to unplug it and how to unscrew it. So to unplug the battery, it plugs in right here. You see the wires here, the black plug and the white port. As with any cables or wires in a computer, we avoid pulling on the wires as much as possible because we can damage them and even pull them right out of the plug sometimes. So instead of pulling on the wires or just yanking on the battery, try to use your fingernails or a pry tool to jimmy this black plug out of that port first. Uh, that's a safer way to unplug it. And then to unscrew the battery, there are five screws next to these little white triangles or arrows, M2X3.5L, those are the screws. And you have one in each of the bottom corners, one here near the top right corner, one near the top left corner, and one in, in the center near the plug. That's how you would get that battery out. So your Wi-Fi card is over here underneath your fan. Uh, I will have a link below in the description uh, with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model. And I will try to have a Wi-Fi card option in there if you want help finding a replacement for this. To get this Wi-Fi card out, there's a screw right here on the left underneath this guard that you just have to peel up. Once you take that screw out, you'll be able to slide this card out of that port. And then all you'll have are these antenna wire that snap onto it. And those are just snaps, not plugs. You just pull directly up and off of the Wi-Fi card and those will snap off. To get them back on, they do need to be at a perfect 90 degree angle to snap back onto the Wi-Fi card. And you are strong enough to damage them if they're not at the right angle and you force it. So just go slow, be patient. It may be a pain if, if you're new to this, but you will be able to get those back on. I will also have the Wi-Fi card info below in the description. Uh, these are 6E uh, Bluetooth 5.3 wireless cards. I'll have that information below in the description. And I guess the last thing to shout out about a Wi-Fi card replacement operation, if you're having Wi-Fi issues in your computer, if it's not seeing any networks, if it's not able to attach to any networks, it could be a bad Wi-Fi card, but it also could just be a driver or a system issue. Before going to your Wi-Fi card to replace it, try troubleshooting. There will be a video link above and below in the description. It'll show you how to troubleshoot a laptop that's not finding any Wi-Fi. Try that video first. But this is the video. This is how you gain access inside your computer and access your Wi-Fi card. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just wanna keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions, 
I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.